Welcome back. In this video, we're going to install OpenJDK using the zip file from Adoptium. Adoptium is the new home for OpenJDK open source. So we'll open up a browser. We'll go to adoptium.net, and it shows here that the latest long-term support release is JDK 17. We want to install JDK 11. So we'll click on other platforms and versions here. And we'll select our operating system, Windows in this case, Architecture x64. We want the JDK, and we want version 11. In our previous video, we installed with the MSI. In this one, we're going to use the zip file and install it manually. So click on zip. It will download here. Once the download's complete, you can click on Show in Folder. Here we see the zip file in our downloads folder. We will right click and click on extract all. We will just say extract. Once the extraction is complete, it may open the folder that it's created automatically. If it doesn't, you can simply double click the folder to enter it. You will see the installation directory here. We're going to copy this. Right click, copy. And we're going to paste this into the standard directory that it would have been installed if you used the MSI. C colon, program files, Java. And it does not exist here, so we will create it. We'll enter the directory, and then we'll paste. Once the paste completes, we want to enter this directory that we want to copy this location up here. So we're going to copy this path because we need to edit two variables. So down in search, we're going to search for variable. And we're going to click on edit the system environment variables. And in this dialog, we'll click on environment variables. And we're going to set two variables here in the user variables section. We're going to create a new one called java underscore home. And that's going to be the path that we just copied. The second thing we need to do is edit the path. So we're going to select path, click edit, and we're going to add a new location to the path. We're going to paste the path that we copied, where we installed Java, and we're going to add slash bin. Click OK, click OK on the variables, and then click OK here we can close all of these windows. An easy way to test that this worked properly is to start a command prompt. In this command prompt, you can type java space dash version, and you will see that it shows the installed version or the version that we just installed. That's it. It's ready to use.